feel like I need to pop my neck, but I have to do so so very carefully. Oi. How many melts do I have left? Oh, I only have one melt left. Oh no. I kind of want to use it. But then we won't have any. Well, I still have some sticks, but I'm reluctant to use the sticks when we've got fluff. <gasps> oh, fuck. That was dumb. You okay? Um, yeah. What's up? I need a paper towel. friends. That just happened. The hell was that? Did you hook that door when you came back in? Did you go out this door? So I forgot that I was trying to start earlier and then popped into somebody's, well, Challenges stream, Iron Man stream, to see how it was going and uh, see if they had any questions or anything because it was their first time doing it. I forgot I had turned the wax melt burner on and that it had been on for a while. So when I picked it up, The melted wax sloshed everywhere because it's me and I didn't think it had melted yet. And I was checking to see how much, if anything, was still in there because my dumbass forgot that I had turned it on already. And, um, yeah. So it sloshed on the corner of our roof here. That shit's hot. Um, <laughs> I got a little bit on the pad here. Hopefully that's not a problem. Just feels kind of oily. I've got some on our placemat. Um, I need like something plastic is what I need. Um, can I have a water bottle lid from you? I know that's strange, but thanks. We're going to have to scrape the mat here. It's a good thing I like the smell. I just don't know if I'm going to like it that, that well with it touching me. Alright. Woohoo! So today, um, you see is what not to do stream. Oh, this is a mess. Really? Woohoo! Yay! Five minutes of me cleaning this shit up. I need adult supervision at all times. I'm telling you. Alright, so I'm gonna have to retape my desk. It wouldn't be so bad, but the oil, the scent oils everywhere that was in it, so it's not like it's just straight wax. And that shit's still hot. Alright. I mean, it's cooling down because it's, um, oh no, did that get in my keyboard? <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit, you guys.
we don't have any, um, oh, we have that yellow stuff. I think I ruined my shirt, you guys. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, it didn't actually get in my keyboard, so that's good. It just landed on the edge of the keyboard tray. And I didn't burn myself, I don't think. Ooh, maybe I did. Alright, give me one second, I will be right back. <laughs> Aside, maybe we can put some ice on it and scrape the wax off. That might also work. I think if we do hot water, it's gonna get worse. Fair enough. And I'm gonna just re melt it down into fabric. Let's see. Shirt. Okay. New shirt has been acquired. Cleaning supplies have been acquired. I just need to break the oil down because my hands are touching it and now everything feels greasy. All right, I'm not so worried about the fact that we got some over here. Um, we got a little bit on this far corner here, but I think we'll be okay because this is going to get trimmed up. So that should be fine. That's not that big of a deal. I am a little concerned about that going into the pad. I'm hoping that that's not going to be a problem there. Um, Oh, you can turn that big light off if you need to. I'm sorry. I've got wax all under my fingernails now. Woo-hoo for my absent mind. All right. Sorry about the interruption, you guys. We're good. Nobody's hurt. It's all good. At least this was a scent that I like. So my mom had this um, lion sculpture that she got eons ago, I think from Avon, for Christmas. And it, I think they called it frankincense and myrrh, is what it was supposed to be. Um, and it smelled really good, and I, I remember liking the smell as a kid. 
And then, um, I like this wild berry incense called Dragon Blood. Um, they have it in a stick form and they have it in a wax melt form. And I was like, oh, let me get the wax melt form for when I'm doing stuff like this. So I don't have to worry about, you know, fluff flying and a hot incense stick burning, you know. We don't want to burn the house down. So, um, the... The wax melt smells nothing like the stick. They smell two completely different smells. And when I first got the stick, the, the wax melt, I swear to God, every time I smell it before it starts to melt, it smells like that damn lion or skin so soft. One of the two, it could be either. But that's what I think of when uh, I smell it before it's melted yet. So yay, nobody had to go to the emergency room for third degree burns. And we didn't have to go and sacrifice one of George's limbs to put on a burn. So, George is the aloe plant that is, I think, still alive. We had to move him outside. I don't know if he's going to survive winter. Yeah, he's not great, but he is better. But uh, we'll see what happens with him. All right, so today's crafty stuff, now that all that nonsense is done with, sorry. Um, we are working on the other half of the roof panel. Um the video that was a whole nother fiasco the video um putting the cookie color the quick cookie color base on this one um i have it done i have it edited that'll go up tonight on youtube um and then tomorrow or tuesday depending on when i have time to come up from air probably tuesday um we'll post today's vod over there so it's after this one's being seen done. We got this one wrapped up last week on Monday. I guess it'd be this week, Monday, the beginning of the week. Um, so that side's done. We're going to try to replicate this side. Uh, the colors aren't going to be in the same pattern. That's fine. Um, but that's kind of what look we're going for over on this side. Um, there it is. Sorry, I'm like, I was sitting here and I put the needle together and then I remembered grabbing the, the damn cup that the, my, my little, my little waxy goodness, uh, paper liner for my, uh, wax melt burner. And, um, I have an electric burner, so I don't have to worry about the candle and the fluff flying. But, um, I was like, where's my needle? Oh, we got wax on the needle handle. Of course we did, because why didn't we? Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Yeah, I'm going to have to either soak that shirt in cold water, or we're going to have to get some ice. I think we're out of ice. Unless that's what she just made you go to the store for. Uh, yes. Well, one of the things. We'll have to put um, ice on that sucker or stick it in the freezer or something in a Ziploc bag to uh, try to get the wax to solidify because the wax went through my shirt. <laughs> so I had to check to make sure I did not burn myself. Um, but no, we seem to be all good uh, in, in that department. Um, let's start with green today. So, um, yeah, and then I will try to work on getting our base finished this week. I'm sorry, I have been so busy. It, it's it's ridiculous how busy I've been. Um, way busier than I ever thought I would be without actually doing our challenge streams right now and I'm just, I'm like, what is happening? I thought we'd have more time to do things. I have a whole laundry list of shit I still need to get to. So it's Sunday. Hi. Hope everybody's having a better day than I am, apparently. Um, but you know, I guess if that was the worst thing that happens today, then then that's cool. I still have wax on my edge of my desk here. All right. I'll have to get the duct tape out and recover the edge of that. This desk is falling apart. At least the surface of it. seen a couple of desks that I have my eye on. I'm not sure which one 
Oh damn, there's still shit over there. I'm not sure um, which one I like better. But uh, they're all so expensive. Why are desks so expensive? I think we were talking about this last week. It, it makes no sense to me. Why? Alright. So we're going to do our icing color last. Now, I didn't trace this out yet. I don't know if I'm going to trace it on this side. Because I can't really see it because of how fuzzy everything is. And the marker I got really isn't a fabric marker, it's just a, a chalk marker. So it's a little, a little hard to see at times. I think this shirt's days are numbered that I've got on. You ever just, you have a shirt that you kind of like and you've liked it for a couple of years and it, you know, serves its purpose. It's a shirt. It does shirty things. And then all of a sudden, like all of the stitching in the seams just does nothing but irritate the shit out of you. Or is that just a me thing? Like I've worn this forever, been fine with it. And now all of a sudden I feel like every stitch touching me and I'm like, oh boy. It's just becoming so irritating. So it's pretty damn windy out today. We're under a wind advisory until like 1 a.m. We've been under one from, I think yeah, the wind advisory started at like 2 p.m. yesterday. So that's kind of crazy. Husband went to bed late last night, so we were both sitting here. I was trying to get some work done or finish doing um, podcast work and uh, I was just finishing up that stuff and we heard this bang and we're like what the hell it was two in the morning like that was an odd noise to hear at two in the morning um, and the power didn't go out so we're like Okay, because it almost sounded like a transformer blowing, but our lights were still on, so I was like, well, that's strange. And we took, we stepped out on the porch, and we didn't see anything. I mean, it was two in the morning, so it was kind of hard to see, but we didn't see anything, like, immediate that would have caused it. And then we were thinking that it was the... Um, sign that they had put outside at the church across the street from us advertising the fall festival that they had yesterday afternoon because um, it was starting to rip off of like the bottom was ripping off of um, the stakes in the ground so we thought well maybe it was that that snapped and it just sounded loud because you know this time of night and there's no other sounds to, to buffer it but it didn't really quite sound the same, I didn't think, last night. And I was just like, maybe. I don't know. I'm not convinced, though. And um, this morning, when I got up and was doing my message rounds and checking on things, I guess my equivalent of checking the newspaper, um, making sure that I didn't need to deal with anything that happened in the couple of hours that I was away sleeping, um... I saw somebody post on one of our town Facebook pages asking if anybody heard a loud bang at like 2 a.m. And I'm like, yes, I did actually. And it was bizarre. And they're like, yeah, apparently a tree fell like a couple streets behind us and um, took down some power lines in the wind. Somebody said their power flickered, but it stayed on. Ours didn't flicker at all. I th we're on a different um, set of power lines, though, I think. And... Uh, it was very bizarre. One night this week, our power went out for maybe all of three seconds, four seconds, ten at the most. 
it never flickered it just went bam we were plunged into darkness and the husband and i were sitting here i was like uh like i think i was in the middle of eating dinner and um or i was just about done and i'm like um and he's like huh and i'm like i can't see a dick and <laughs> and i didn't have my flashlight sitting next to me and he's like hold on hold on so he was trying to get his flashlight on his phone pulled up, and before he could even get it pulled up, the power came back on. And we're like sitting here staring at each other like, that was really weird. Especially because I thought I saw the red light from either the TV glowing or something over in his direction or his microphone. It was just very bizarre. And, um, don't know what that was about, but apparently the entire town went down and the next part of the next town over if not the entire next town over so i think we're all on the same substation or at least a good number of us are it's a little strange a little strange we never knew what happened with that i would say you know oh they probably were doing re routine maintenance or or um switching over to something but it was weird that nothing broke unless it was a backup system kicking in I mean, I guess that's possible, but um, it couldn't have been anything too terribly catastrophic because the power wasn't down long enough, and um, it was just strange. And it was like 8.30 at night, so I'm like, it's kind of a strange time for them to be just working for the sake of working. It was very, very odd. Anyway, sorry I got started late. <laughs> like I said, I was checking out somebody's Iron Man stream. It looked like it was the first time they were doing it. I was just seeing what they were up to. And if they had any questions. Now that all that excitement's done, let's get back into work here. So we're needle felting the majority of a gingerbread house display. We have the house itself done. I didn't put that much candy decoration on it because I kind of just wanted the roof to, to be um, the main focal point on it. Um, I'm working on a base, a styrofoam base that it's gonna be displayed on. which um, I need to get back to working on as soon as I have a moment to breathe because of everything else that's going on. Um, that's been tough finding time to work on that. I'm like up till four in the morning and I still don't have time to do everything. Um, I did take last night off though from working on anything at all. I was like, my brain has just, it's it's toast. I need to do something that's not. That's not stuff that needs to be done. I needed a, a mental vegetation night, so. <laughs> hey, Taco. Because we were not prepared for that UI show to be this week. We were planning on doing beta part two. And then, you know, literally both, I saw the, the article saying, oh yeah, beta part one drops on Tuesday and the new UI is coming out with it. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, no. Um, and so I quick messaged Lita cause I didn't think she had, was up yet or had seen the article yet. And I was like, Hey, we got a problem. <laughs> and, and she was, she, her and I were like, no, 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 no. We're not prepared for this this week. So um, Tuesday was just a nightmare of, of things happening. Um, I had hurt my shoulder like the night or two before and that was giving me some trouble and I was just like, oh dear lord. Um, VOD's up on the YouTube, or on the Twitch channel and, uh, the YouTube video will be going up tonight at 8 p.m. when the 8 p.m. central us time um i think you're in central i don't think you're that far over i think eastern kicks in midway through tennessee so you should you should be blah 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 
you should be my time zone. So, um, <laughs> I'm having a day. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, no. So, um, that'll be 8 p.m. tonight when the VOD and the blog post goes up. I am doing a separate blog post about the UI. It's going to have all of the screenshots in it from the show. That will either go up really late tonight or tomorrow. Um, expect it tomorrow at some point. <laughs> But if I manage to get it done tonight, it'll be done tonight. I just can't say when. Because it's a lot. Um, I think there was... 23 screenshots plus all of the explanations that I have to take from the show notes and put in there with it. So, um, yeah, like Tuesday I was not feeling the best and we had some stuff that we had to do and... My mom wanted to take us to Walmart on Wednesday to start Christmas shopping for us, and I'm like, Mom, you really don't need to buy us anything, but if, if we tell her no, and then we don't give her a list of stuff to buy from now, she just buys whatever, and then half the stuff is not stuff that we would ever use or, or wear or anything, and then it ends up going to donation, so it's a waste. Um, so we've learned by now to just fucking go with it and humor her and so I'm like I was sitting here Tuesday night and I really wasn't feeling that great and because I'd only had like three hours of sleep because I didn't get much sleep because I wanted my my McDonald's bucket and then Planet Zoo dropped and we were just we had a lot of stuff going on on Tuesday um and I was like you know I'd really rather wish we could get Walmart done tonight because uh, I really don't want to go anywhere on Wednesday because she was talking about going at 10 a.m. and I'm like, I'll have had like two hours of sleep if I'm lucky. If you all want to leave at 10 because I've, I've not been able to sleep lately. And um, Russell's like, what time do they close? And I was like, 11? He goes, what time is it now? I was like, it's, what, 9? Almost 9? He's like, hold on a second. And he walked away. I'm like, she's gonna be in bed. And she wasn't in bed yet. And um, he's like, get dressed, we're going now. And I was like, oh, thank Jesus. So, um, so we got that out of the way with, and by the time we got back, I had a killer migraine, and then I was trying to do the screenshots, and... I got the screenshots done, but I didn't get them edited, and I was like, I feel so shitty. I'm going to do this tomorrow. So then it took me about four to five hours to get the screenshots edited and clipped down and everything because I also, I was doing something else at the same time, so it took me longer. Um, I was making bread for Russell, and um, so I had to keep every so often getting up and dealing with that and making dinner. And, it was, it was just a lot. It's been a busy week, and then Thursday I was back in beta, and that gave me a migraine Thursday night, and I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> it's been a bad headache week, plus our, our temperatures have been all over the place. We had a freeze warning earlier this week, and now I'm sitting here sweating to death because it's like 80. What is happening? What is happening? My neck is pissed because of the temperature changes. It's been a whole ass week, you guys. Just can't catch a break. But, um... Yeah, so, we'll see. We'll see. Next week will be the beta part two. I'm not... The beta part two show is not going to be that long. I haven't done that much on part two. I've been trying. I don't really have that many screenshots. I'll have a couple, I think, but it's not going to be anywhere near what last night's show was at all. Um, cause I, I've, I've hit a problem <laughs> with, uh, with dealing with dragon riding. So it's not been kind to my migraines whatsoever. 
So that's not been great. Unfortunately. But we'll see. We'll see. So don't forget, um, at some point in the next rest of today and Monday to log in on your challengers. Um, pull their gear off if you're so inclined, if you're worried about something turning blue or green. Um, I don't think we have to worry about that necessarily for this part of the pre-patch, but you never know. Some people just like to be extra cautious. Um, so I mean, it's not a terrible thing, but um, I will say if you have any challengers sitting down in Caverns of Time uh, where the anniversary event would happen, because I know some people would just park their challengers there to answer the trivia questions and then forget about them and uh, just leave them there. <laughs> Um, anniversary event is going to be overlapping part two, I believe, of the pre-patch. Um, so remember, Bronze Dragonflight is tied into this expansion. Certain zones have been predetermined to be housing, sorry, did not want to come off. Um, have been predetermined to be housing part of the in-game event, like the actual event event, um, in the zones. Alright, it's not too much wax damage. This down here is starting to get hard though, that's a problem. Um, that corner might be dead to us now, but, um, I can still go through it. Alright, we might be alright where the wax spilled everywhere but um, you know I, I would move them out of Tenaris personally but you do what you want to do alright so let's get this I'm trying not to make them as small We'll see what happens. We have got a pretty good sized gap over here, but we should be able to fill that in. My yarn's on sale. Oh, husband, go tell the mother that the yarn's on sale. Okay. I didn't know when she was planning on getting that. So, I asked for yarn for Christmas, so. And um, this brand has been working out pretty okay. It's, um, the balls are smaller, but it's a little bit cheaper than the other stuff I was getting. And they have a lot more colors to choose from. I don't think I burnt myself. No, well, I think it would have been pretty obvious if we had. The for those that came in late, the my wax melter. I forgot I had turned it on earlier. I thought I had just turned it on and the wax hadn't melted yet. I, I lost track of how long it had been on. And I grabbed the cup thinking that the wax hadn't melted yet. I grabbed the liner. And when I did it sloshed everywhere. All over the work surface. It got this little bit down in here. This is why this is discolored now. Um, I don't know. I can't really see the discoloration. You can see it a little bit. I got the corner here. It got on the pad down here. It landed on the desk. It landed here on, on my tape strip. Oh, it's off the screen. You can't see it. it. It The majority of it splashed my shirt and went through my shirt. And I was like, oh, God. I'm like, good job. Good job. So... It's like, this is the kind of day it's going to be. <laughs> Holy fuck. Really? I know, I've definitely got to wash my hands real good when we are done here. 
we've got, um, what the fuck is it called? Awesome something? Um, yellow cleaner, yellow degreaser. I'm probably gonna have to put some of that on my hands. It's diluted down, it's not straight from the bottle. Um, I'm probably gonna spray some of that on my hands and then like soak my hands in dish, dish soap for a little bit just to try to get the oily feeling off of my fingers. It's not too bad. But I can definitely still feel the, the hints of it. Yeah, yeah, you know. I, my absent-minded dumbass self strikes again. So, at least I didn't burn myself. I mean, I think I destroyed a shirt. It wasn't a great shirt because I had gotten some other stuff stained on it. And then it became like a around the house. Well, this shirt's okay to get more stains on it. And now I think I've completely destroyed it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the wax that that landed on it off because it like soaked into the weave and went through the weave of the shirt and then hit my skin. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that because it's not just wax. It's got the um, the oils from from the wax cube in there. And I can't just throw it in the washing machine because then <laughs> that'll be a hot disaster. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to try to save it. It wasn't a super expensive shirt, but when you're broke, anything that suddenly you have to get rid of. It's like, oh damn. But, um, at least it's not like dead of summer. And I did buy two shirts over the summer. Um, so I'm not really down a shirt because one of the other new shirts I hadn't worn yet. Or I had just worn the other day. I think I just cut the tags off of it. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It just, it, it just hurts to lose a shitty around the house shirt to a stupid asinine thing that happened. Because there was still a lot of life left in that sucker. Now I'm not so sure it's going to be all that salvageable. See, I didn't think this was turning out so small, but now that I'm looking at it, it does feel a little bit small. I got more than enough scent on me now, and I've got a very busy night ahead of me. Alright, so. I'm really liking Coral Island. I started to play that one save I had for off stream so that I can kind of learn some things and stuff. I feel like we're getting into it enough now where I can branch out a little bit and in my off stream game I looked at the mine which is interesting feels a bit like Stardew Valley um, but not exactly I kind of like the combat flow in a, in this one a little bit better that first row is always a little tough there 
Oh, we're gonna need to fluff more white. I forgot about that. We have enough for today. But we are gonna need to get some more. I mean, I have the yarn, I just have to make the fluff. So. Like, I didn't burn myself, but it still feels like the um, stuff is touching. Which is crazy, but. That's probably gonna be a thing for the rest of the day. As annoying as that's gonna be. All right, so what's everybody up to this weekend? How are things going? Everybody getting ready for Halloween? Anybody doing anything for Halloween? That's what, next weekend? We're not, we don't have money to, to decorate. We didn't get any pumpkins. Which is a shame, because we used to carve them. Uh, we don't really have any trick-or-treaters that come here, though. I mean, that's good, because we didn't have money to buy candy this year, but... Um, with where we're situated, we don't really have people stop by. to make sure we remember to turn the front, the front porch light off because the only thing I have to hand out are candy canes from the fridge. So that would be kind of disappointing. <laughs> they're full-size candy canes, but, uh, and they're not even, like, current candy canes. I think they're, like, a year or two old. I mean, they're still edible. I've been eating them. It's just, you know, I doubt that's what some kid's actually expecting. We're actually kind of sad. Not that many people did um, Halloween decorations um, on the one street that usually gets a little elaborate. I just hope they still do their Christmas decorations. I'm excited to pull our Christmas decorations out. I want to put my light up flamingos outside. Hopefully they survived the winter. I'm not sure where they are. I think they're in the shed. Ambulance is going to go by in a second. We have the window open. Like I said, it got super warm again. And tomorrow, they're saying thunderstorms. So you're wearing your squirrel costume to work next Monday. A squirrel costume. That sounds fun. You're gonna have a basket of nuts with you. Although you might not be able to because, you know, people with allergies. You could have, like, fake looking like acorns or pine cones, maybe. Although those, those have pine nuts in them, so maybe not the pine cones. Maybe, maybe just, like, fake looking things. I guess you could just walk around with them. Thing of candy. Kind of forgot. You can't just like walk around with like a basket of uh. <laughs> Your TikToks are all office squirrels and you hand feed them. <laughs> and yes, I will so I can feed the squirrels in my costume. <laughs> well, see, I mean, that's good. Just. You know, just don't take the, the bag of nuts maybe into the work unless you know nobody has a nut allergy, but that's fun. TikTok's one thing I just never could get into. I just don't have time for it, I guess, really. I'm too busy doing all the other shit. And I'm so much into or so used to doing the long form content and it takes me forever to get to a point, and I know it, that that none of, like no TikTok I could ever do would actually make sense. So. 
It was bad enough the other night when I was sitting there editing the cookie color video. Um, so I was like, oh, this needs to go up before this live stream goes up on YouTube. And uh, I'm sitting there editing the video and I had it spread out in Adobe on my project timeline. So you couldn't see the entire length of the video in the space that I was working on. And I was editing it down and I had just cut a clip and had slid back over to the beginning of the timeline to butt it up to the last video edit. And I had put the speed buff on it and bumped it up. And I'm sitting there and I'm staring at how much time I've done. Like what I've edited down to. And for some reason I thought I said I had edited it down to two hours. And I'm like, for some, I saw two minutes and my brain's like, oh, okay, we've got two hours of video. And I'm like, that means I need to go grab the other half of the video because all of the offline stuff I've been streaming. I was, uh, like when it got to be like an hour and a half to two hours, I was cutting the recording and then starting a new one. So then I'm digging through my saved files on my portable hard drive because that's where I've been moving everything to and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, well, where's the other half of this recording? I'm not seeing it. And I remembered that I had deleted something off of there like a week ago, but whenever I delete off the portable, then it goes to my recycling bin and I've got so little space on my C drive, which is where my recycling bin is that um, I have to empty the recycling bin like almost immediately and I'm like oh no I'm like where's the other half of the video are you fucking kidding me because where I was like I had done the first rough pass and usually that's where I cut the video and then I'll do the next part of the recording as doing the final pass and I'm like where's the final I kid you not, I was having a meltdown, I was almost crying because I couldn't find the other half of the video, and I'm like, son of a fucking bitch, where the hell is this video? And, and I'm having a, a meltdown, and I'm messaging Russell, because he had already gone to bed, and he's like, well, you're just gonna have to put a card in the thing explaining the video went poof, and you don't know where the hell, you don't know what the hell happened. And, sorry, and I'm like, yeah, I guess, and I was so mad. But it's ingestion allergy, not context. Area. Okay, cool. That's good. So, um, I'm just, I'm sitting here and I was so upset. It's like 1.30 in the morning. I'm like, how? How did I lose this video? I'm so careful about making sure as soon as the recording is finished, I shuffle it off to the hard drive. I'm like, why would I have deleted this? I was so mad at myself and I'm like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. And I'm, I'm in Creta and I'm editing my, my card to put in there and I'm like, hey guys, I don't know what happened to the rest of this. It went poof. I, I don't know. Sorry. I dropped it into the timeline on the project and I was just like, God damn it. And I'm sitting there and something caught the corner of my eye. towards the very end of my screen of my timeline on on where I was working on the video editing and I'm like what and I kind of froze and I'm like what the hell is that there shouldn't be anything else in the end of this this timeline everything's been edited what what the fuck is this it was the rest of the video I'd only done the video in one take and um or or, or one one file it was the rest of it for some reason my dumbass brain translated two minutes to two hours and I wasn't missing the video, it was there the whole fucking time. So yeah, that's the kind of week it's been. <laughs> I'm just, I'm mentally fucking tired. Just, I'm just so mentally done. I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. I was like, really? Really? I just kind of stared at it and I'm like, well, yay that it's still here. But then I was just m even more mad at myself because I'm like, you really didn't see that sitting there, you dumbass. So, <laughs> I was just like, oh, so, oh it, it was, 
It was a whole ass thing, and then I'm messaging Russell. I'm like, or not. I found the rest of the video. It was in the timeline the whole time. I just didn't see it because it was pushed off the screen. And it got just a sliver of the edge of it got pushed back on the screen after I put the title card in for the video missing because it, it slid me over a little bit, and then I saw it, and I was like, really? That's the kind of night this is going to be. <sighs> So I got, I got the video done. I just haven't posted it yet. I was gonna upload it Thursday night, Friday night, Thursday night, Thursday night. But I wanted to shut down my computer, and I didn't know how long the upload was gonna take. It ended up being like a ten-minute video. It probably wouldn't have taken long, but I was just like, no, let's shut down. We'll do this later, and I haven't gotten it done yet. It was bad enough last night. <laughs> Friday night I went to bed. Not last night. Friday night. Went to bed. Kept feeling like there was something I was forgetting to doing. Forgetting to do. This happens a lot. I can't remember anything. I'm like, I, I'm, like, I know I'm forgetting something. Couldn't put my finger on it. I'm like, well, I guess it's not that important. Went to bed. Still laying there, swearing I'm forgetting to do something. Kind of brushing it off. I'm like, no, no, I guess, I guess not. And uh, woke up. I had my alarm set to make sure I was up in time for the show to wake up before the show because there was some show prep I had to do um, before podcast time involving state of the challenges. And I'm laying there. And I was try trying to wake up, trying to wake up. And Russell laid down with me for a minute. And we're sitting there talking. And all of a sudden I'm like, holy shit, I forgot to do the tweets. <laughs> it finally hit me what I forgot to do before I went to bed. Which was the post and tweet reminders about the show last night. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It's not the first time I've forgotten to do them. Because I try to schedule them, depending on how late I go to bed. If, if I go to bed before 2, I'll schedule them. If I go to bed closer to 5 a.m., then I'll just post them. <laughs> I was like, no, are you fucking kidding me? So, th this week has just been a lot, and I don't know why. <laughs> But my brain has just been melted into oblivion. And, and I just don't even know anymore. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm tired, I think. <laughs> I think I'm just mentally tired. But, uh... Thankfully, Russell's uncle-in-law, I guess, is what we're going to refer to him as. Um, him and his aunt, they had a house built in Missouri. I don't know where. Um, but when they were having the house built, they put in um, a specific outlet for Russell's aunt's RV to be plugged into and stuff. So that made it a much more attractive option, and it was a level, I believe, um, to put leave the RV at his aunt's house instead of bringing it here. Because I'm like, the, the RV here is not going to work, you guys. <laughs> like, The ground's not flat. You are way too far from the electrical outlets and the water, outdoor water thing, and, and the sewer... Um, the sewer access. It's its not gonna work. Because <laughs> you can't have it in the backyard where it's flatter and reach all of this stuff. You'd be in the side of the driveway and then you're gonna be at an angle and you're not supposed to be at an angle with that thing to that degree for that period of time. So, fortunately, they were able to leave it there. And she... Oh, damn. 
she materialized. It's because there's so much going in in one spot that that's being a bit of a pain right in there. Dang, maybe I need to take a layer of of wax over this whole thing and stiffen this, this fucker up. Hang on. I'm gonna grab my X-Acto knife here. This is not a sharp... Okay, X-Acto knives are sharp. I don't believe this blade is very sharp. This blade's been on here for a while. It might still be sharp, but I'm not cutting the pad. I'm just scraping. Because I feel like we need to. I just want to get some of this extra fluff pulled off of here. Not something you have to do. It's just I've been finding at this stage of the pad's life that um, it's been helping a little bit. Okay, so, um, orange, I guess. Sorry, I've got a grid running across my preview. There we go. That's better. Now we can see. I'm still a little zoomed out, though. That's a problem. I still have to go through and do camera presets or we're zoomed in a different zooms, for lack of better terminology. I just haven't had the time. Have not had the time. Crazy. I'm excited to get back into um, Planet Zoo and work on our new shopping plaza up there near the front. Since we finally got something that's not a restaurant for a little bit. I'd be happier if we'd get concessions. I still have to add in... I think I added an education station last week. Um, I still need to add transportation to the wheel, but I don't want to do it yet. Without having the um that many exhibits uh or habitats rather um set up yet because then there's really not going to be anything for them to look at and then they're going to be bored and then they're going to be mad that the transportation ride was boring and it's kind of a pain to adjust the pillars and track on there for like the monorail or the gondolas at times to like add stuff in as you go. I don't know. I think maybe one more habitat and then I'll add the um, transportation to the wheel of building doom sounds fair I guess oh thank you for the follow Mingo scared me <laughs> I was like what is happening I was not expecting the Mingo so we're just working on the roof here So when we get this side of the panel done, and it hopefully looks something like this side of the panel, um, I'll cut these both off of this sheet of felt, and then we'll sew the roof lines together. 
um, we won't put the finishing touches on the house yet because we have to get this, this isn't gonna get finished today we'll get we'll get a little bit into it we might finish this panel tomorrow um, but we still have to do our Christmas tree that's gonna go on our display base so oh thank you we're trying to give like a, a Neko wafer look to to the roof because I was like well they're kind of like circles so then maybe it looks kind of like tiled and so that's why we're kind of going with like the little pastel -y candy candy ish color there um, we're gonna take some some fluff and put it over the roof line where the two are gonna join to make it look like snow oh we still have to do the chimney I forgot about that um, so yeah, depending on how far we get on this tomorrow um, we might have time to start the chimney but we still have to do our tree um, so I've got a piece of craft foam I'm gonna wrap this guy in felt I'm hesitant to do this guy on stream because I know it's scritchy and the sounds kind of annoying but um, at the same time the fluff going in and the felt that's wrapped around it will help dampen that a little bit um, but we still have to do our tree and then we have to do the pathway on the base coming out of the house and I'm trying to do everything that can be done um, before we need to fire up the glue gun so that way I can just fire up the glue gun all in one go because I mean we just saw what happened with the wax earlier <laughs> so the least amount of time that I need to be heating up the glue gun is probably for the best um, so we can avoid another wax melt incident I mean I'm usually pretty careful with the glue gun because I know it's hot but um, I mean I know the wax melter was hot too but for some reason my brain's just like oh it didn't melt yet it's been running for 20 minutes it, it had melted but I wasn't I lost track of time wasn't paying attention that was fun but uh, you'll see that incident in the very beginning of the VOD if you go back. But because um, that was like five minutes of dealing with that nonsense. So apologies for that. Boy. Um, but yeah, no. So I mean, we've got the house itself. I don't think I can I reach the house itself from here. Crackers. Um, yeah, so the house itself is, oh, we are way zoomed in. Um, house itself is done. Like I said, I don't have that much coloration or decoration on the house itself. Because I wanted the roof to be the main focus. Um, but we've got our little, we've got our little board down in there, a little square to help give that some stability and to make it so that when we glue it to our base, display that it will hold the glue a little bit better um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do <sighs> I don't know if I'm gonna do hot glue on that sometimes hot glue and styrofoam don't always get along I mean there's gonna be a layer of felt in between the two but I say styrofoam it's craft foam it, it's not it's whatever foam they're allowed. Oh shit, what color is this? Uh, that's green. And this is peach. Okay, we'll keep those two on that side. Um, when they get real thin, the colors look identical. You have to like bunch it up on themselves. It's like, oh, okay, that, that's the green. But, um, yeah, so there's our first row. That's gonna get icing. Um, Alright, I think we're ready for a yellow. Did somebody just whine? Yes. Who was it? What? What is? Who is it? Is it Momo or Zuzu? Oh. Who wants to go potty? Do I need to get him? No, I guess. Alright. So. Doggo. I was trying to keep track of the doggo. They're both getting hot spots now, not just the one, so making sure 
Doggo's doing okay. Alright. So. And, and now the cat's meowing. We have a zoo. The zoo's not as big as it used to be, but. We have our own little zoo. We used to have guinea pigs, but we don't have them anymore. Uh, we have hermit crabs in their place now. Because the pigs all moved on. We had them for a good long while. Hermit crabs are a lot less needy, shall we say. <laughs> we just have to keep a check on their humidity levels and their their temperature and make sure their food's not fuzzy. But they don't need special food. I don't have to to uh, sacrifice a firstborn child to get Timothy hay. So, you know, it's, it's all good. It's all good. No, I kind of miss the pigs. But our budget was becoming rather strained. Those pigs were eating better than me. I was like, I want salad every day. I can't afford salad every day, but I want it. It felt so weird um, not having to grow or try to grow any veggies for them the past, what, two years, three years? Because we had gotten so used to making sure we were growing like a shit ton of cucumbers and trying to grow some green peppers and stuff for them. It was kind of strange not having to do that after a while. I mean, it was nice not having to buy like spring mix and, and lettuce. We would have tried to grow the lettuce, but uh. It wasn't growing that well for us, so and I think we got like one tiny head to grow. We did try. Alright. And I feel like my color swatches are, or color bits are much smaller over here since I didn't um, draw it out. Alright, so this is the yellow. So I'm using acrylic yarn right now that I have fluffed. Um, I have a video on the YouTube channel for how I fluffed or prepped the yarn. Um, this is, I think, an acrylic yarn blend, actually. I don't think it's straight acrylic. It's almost all acrylic. There's like a tiny percentage. So it's not a hundred percent. I think it's like 80 or something. Or 75, I can't remember, but um, this particular yarn is Paint Box Simply Chunky. Um, I got that from Lovecraft, not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Um, I also use Big Twist Value line from Joann's from time to time, um, and I do use a little bit of roving. Uh, the wool roving, I just, it's its super expensive for me and my budget right now for the amount of colors I use, so, um, and I can't really find the specific colors that I want in the roving. I would have to, like, buy, that's a piece of wax, I would have to buy, I'm so like finding wax, I'd have to buy, um, white roving, I guess, and try to dye it. Which 
is in and of itself a whole nother ass thing, so. I mean, it's doable. It's doable. I've seen people do it. Um, I don't know if I want to get that into it. Um, because that, that is a lot. And the thing that I'm, like, the most concerned about is running out of a color. Like, not making enough of one color. And then the shades will be, like, I'll never get the shades <laughs> the right amount, I'm sure, just because of how I am. I could measure it exactly and still not get the shade right. And then, you know, you have to buy the dye and all that, and it's like, by the time you buy the dye... and then go through all of that. I could have just bought the balls of yarn. <laughs> Prepping the yarn's enough for me. That, that That's enough. I mean, you know, I'm sure if you, you might be able to get a decent deal on like the white or cream colored roving um, in bulk. And if that's something that you want to do, hey, cool. You are more ambitious than me. I thought about it for a hot minute, and I wasn't quite sure if it would work for what I wanted to do, and I didn't really have the disposable income to attempt it at the time, well right now I guess, uh, so I kinda let that idea go by the wayside. So I was like, well, no, maybe... Maybe I'll just stick with, with what I'm doing. That's fine. I have some roving from a sample set that I had picked up off of Amazon, so I do have a little bit for when I don't have quite the right colors in the other stuff. Um, and I have some roving that someone sent me that they couldn't use because they thought it was going to be a little bit something different, and then when they got it, they were having trouble spinning it, so they're like, um, this isn't actually what I was thinking it was going to be, and now I'm not going to use it, so if you want it, and I'm like, well, if you're not going to use it, it's just going to sit there. I mean, if you can't return it or anything and get your money back, because I know that shit's expensive, then, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take it, but... I've been using that as the, as the core of some uh, figurines that I did. So um, I did a chicken and I did, excuse the string, he's my floss keeper card at the moment. Um, uh, Marvin has a, a roving core because, and um, there's a little bit of pink roving on his outside because I didn't have the right shade of pink. I had like this light pink and that wasn't working so I was like mm, that's too light so then I grabbed the the dark pink out of the roving set and um, put that on him but his inside his under the pink is uh, part of the roving that was a completely different color and um, same with the chicken I did there's a photo of that on the Kofi page that was a gift so I don't have that in front of me um, gosh I still have got a post the rest of the store stuff over on Kofi. Like I said, everything's just like done up and flipped itself sideways upside down and then diagonal since I don't know, the beginning of October or like the end of September, somewhere in there, whenever the Etsy shit with with um plaid happened for me, nothing's gone right since then. So just like, Jesus Christ. Why? Why is everything being dumb? So, I haven't been able to catch a break. Um, that might be alright. So we're gonna have the icing in there. Alright, so next one. This side's definitely smaller than that side. I need to start bulking up these shapes here. Um... I guess we'll go orange next. I don't really have a set 
rhyme or reason to these colors. I'm just kind of going for it. As you can see, there's spots where some colors are going to touch each other. The seam colors are going to touch each other because I'm only using four. I could have gone five. I did have like a pastel -y pink that could have fit in here. But at the same time, I was like, well, maybe five's too much on the roof. So just ended up kind of going with this. Alright, I'm just trying to keep this row sort of the same length. Like, length. Not width, but length. Um, before we start getting a little bit bigger on the pieces here because I know down here as I went down I got a little bit smaller now on this side I'm like starting small and we're gonna end up going a little bit bigger um because you know that's how my brain rolls apparently um but that's okay it'll be okay in the end it is Sunday for me. Um, how's everybody doing? Are you doing good? How's your weekend go? Did you do anything fun, exciting? Did you get a... Did you have to work? Did you get a mental break for the weekend? Like, not a mental breakdown, but, you know, a chance to mentally rest. Mental breakdowns are not fun. Been there, done that. Forgot to buy the t-shirt. That was a whole ass lot, but. That was just, I think, me hitting my limit of being overwhelmed. That happened years ago. And uh, it involved just stuff coming at me from like every direction. I think I talked about it a couple of times um, some time ago. But, uh, some other things are coming to light now that might have helped explain why that, why that was. But, uh, well, I don't know if we'll ever know for sure. Um, it might still be a couple of years before we know for sure if we end up doing anything about it. Right now we're still battling um, to see if the husband can get on disability, so. So that's where priorities are lying at the moment. And that has not been an easy task. The amount of hoops that you have to jump through when you have a visible issue is bad enough. But it's ten times worse. Um, sorry, I'm trying to figure out what color is what here. It's ten times worse. Did I use all of that? No, there it is. Okay. That's why I got confused. Um, it's ten times worse when you have something that's invisible. Because no one believes you. And um, it, it's just... It's a lot. It's a lot. 
And, like, I understand there's gonna be people trying to game the system and stuff, but when you have doctor documentation from a couple different doctors, and then you still have those in charge of the purse strings being like, mm, yeah, no, I don't believe you. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's not like we're making the shit up. Trust me, we're not making the shit up. I'm like, would you like to come live with me for a week? Because, you know, not not you guys, but like the people in charge. Like, would you like to come live with us for a week so you can witness this every day? We can arrange that. Like, if that's what we need to do, if you need to spend that much time here to see the every day, do we need to video the every day? We can do that too. Um, you know, like, trust me, it ain't easy. I'm not complaining about, you know, husband having issues. I'm not. We all have our own issues, but some days are just so difficult for him. And living with someone that has... Um, these issues is not easy either at times. Um, we, we finally have figured out how to communicate with one another and to um, work with those issues. It took a while, but you know, we, we have an understanding between the two of us and we still have rough days where communication is not great and if he's having a particularly bad day and I'm overly sensitive so sometimes those days can just clash and it's 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 a whole thing but you know it's the fact that people are like oh no you could have adjusted we, we don't believe you have a problem and you're like are you fucking kidding me like would you like to spend the day with me? Like, <laughs> I think you need to spend the day with me to, so at least a week. Maybe not. He some days are good, but most days are not. So I'm just like, c come spend the day and um, see for yourself what we're talking about and experience it in the moment. And and then we'll see if you still feel the same way because I'm just frustrated that they're like we don't believe you I'm like here's Dr. fucking Mc documentation he was tested he has medical tests to show the thing and ugh, I'm just so mad like the one lady that he had a zoom um interview appointment with she straight up said to him I don't believe you about the thing about one of the things and that was a low blow that was a real low blow because I'm like are you fucking serious like she's like well I'm going into this interview blind she's like I didn't want my opinion to be biased so I didn't read any of your medical reports yet and I'm like oh Okay, but you're going into an interview. This is what really pissed me off. Um, you're interviewing someone with a mental issue. He has severe anxiety and depression. And when he was going to be officially diagnosed for that, they also diagnosed him as being autistic and said, which we didn't know, we weren't going for that diagnosis. They were just like, oh yeah, and you're autistic. And he's like, what? And they put on his paperwork that he was going to need a high level of support. And I'm like, well, yeah, no shit. Because um, of, of how, like, he can function and stuff to a degree. Um, to a degree. I'm going to emphasize, like, he can get through the day to day around the house most of the time. Um, but there's some days where, you know, it's a battle to get him to, to eat because of his food anxieties and things and, 
and there's days where he's up for 24 36 hours straight because he can't sleep and it, it's not insomnia it's just his anxiety won't let him sleep like his, his brain will not cooperate um he, he is medicated and the medication only does so much um it, it, it it's a lot and then to sit there and have this lady go into an interview and say yeah um, I didn't look at any of your medical stuff. I want to get it to go into this unbiased. But then to be so aggressive during the interview, like she was she was being a real bitch on purpose, trying to provoke him, and he's like trying everything in his power to rein himself in, which was very difficult because he can get like it, it's just it's bad. And then she pushed him too far and he had an anxiety attack. And then she's like, okay, well, I believe your se severe um, anxiety. I'm like, really? Was this on purpose to make him have a fucking anxiety attack? Like, oh my god. Who does that? Holy shit. And then says, well, I don't believe you're autistic because you're doing some of the things that autistic people would never do. And I'm like, really? Wow. Like, there was one cookie cutter m notion for how autistic people were. And because he wasn't hitting every single box for her, he, he wasn't autistic. And I'm like, wow. And then, I'm like, he was tested. They have documentation but she didn't believe it and then for like ever since then everything's been like ten times harder for him and worse for him so I'm like wow lady you, you just like really fucked everything up and made it worse thanks um you know, like, it's not hard enough every day for him, and now you've just made it worse. Thanks so much. So, we, we're still battling that fight. This has been going on since 20... What year is it? It's 2022. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty. Jesus Christ. And hey, would you like to know when they moved Asperger's over to uh, autism? When? And how out of date her information is? Twenty thirteen. Are you fucking kidding me? She's almost ten years out of date, and she's in a position of control for other people. Of making decisions. Yeah, yeah that that's lovely. Yeah, good shit. Good shit. That's lovely. When did your application start? Was it twenty twenty or twenty twenty one? I don't remember. I don't even know at this point. I feel like it was 2021. I have no idea. But at the same time, it might have been 2020. No, it had to be 2021. Because we've had the lawyer almost a year. Yeah, it's been a whole ass a lot. We actually thought we were working on our appeal. <laughs> this is how fucked up everything is. Um, because last... I'm still finding wax everywhere. For fuck's sake. Um, in late summer I guess of 2021 Time, time doesn't exist anymore. Um, I, I guess late summer of 2021. Um, we had gotten paperwork saying your application's denied because you're missing documents. Like, you didn't turn in the medical shit we asked for. And him and I are like, what are they talking about? We never got everything they requested we turned in. 
and they never asked us for anything else like he's been checking his emails we never got any actual letters in the mail after a certain point like we're like what do you mean you're denying it because we're missing paperwork like what so then we ended up getting I guess it would have been fall actually uh, of 2021 so then we ended up getting a lawyer involved because we thought you know this was appeal so she started working with him and started the process to try to appeal again and then he had this interview in the end of September and he got the um, we believe you could have adjusted and you don't have autism bullshit well, she told him to his face that he didn't have autism, or she didn't feel he did, um, even though he has testing to prove it. Um, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, lady? And um, we got that official letter of rejection or denial, I guess, at this point. When the fuck was that? What's today? October 23rd. Two weeks ago? The beginning of October, maybe? Um, so then, you know, the, the lawyer had called and talked to him. We, we knew it was coming before it got here because the lawyer was talking to him. The lawyer's like, we still have a case. You still definitely have a case. Um, so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep fighting. We're not stopping yet. And she's like, so we're going to send you the paperwork for, for the appeal. And Russell and I are like, we thought we were on the appeal. But apparently, disability seems to think that this was the first run through, even though it wasn't. Maybe because it got to the decision phase and then they're like, okay, well, this is officially your first run through. I don't know. It didn't make sense. And there was no real explanation about that, so we were just kind of like, uh, okay. Um, because we thought we were going to be a hell of a lot closer to, to going before a judge. But, um, apparently now he's doing the appeal paperwork and he has X number of days to do that. And, um, we're trying to get all of that sorted and he might try to see if there's another um, doctor in the area that can attempt to also second opinion confirm the autistic thing uh, and we'll we'll kind of go from there but we're we're just like are you fucking kidding me it doesn't stop it doesn't stop and I'm like, it's not fair the amount of bullshit that they put people through that that already have um, uh, a brain imbalance or, or a mental issue that medication and shit just isn't fixing because then it just makes it 20 times worse because it's like, you can't just get in their face and be like, look at this thing. You know, it's not like an x-ray where you can prove the thing. So, it's just... I mean, they jerked my mom around when she applied for disability, too. Like, I think... She, I remember her having to go before a judge, so I think her first one was denied as well. And most people say they deny you first time anyway. But... So now we just have to try to get a hearing with a judge, I guess, but... And go before a person get another decision so I don't know what's gonna happen we're, we're kind of in another holding pattern here while things get sorted so it's it's just fucking stupid what they put people through because then you know now you have to make a whole nother round of doctor's appointments because now the doctors have to fill out you know paperwork and it just, it doesn't stop, you guys. There is no rest.
Like, we were really hoping for some good news coming into Christmas, because we are so financially fucked right now. I have a feeling we're going to be paying back his aunt for, for the sewer line stuff for, like, the next ten years. At the rate that we're able to attempt to pay her back. And we still need more work done on the house, so I'm like, oh good. Oh goody. <laughs> like, we have to replace the, um, well, we don't have to yet, but it was strongly recommended that we do this, <laughs> because it's not gonna hold out for too much longer, where um, we need to replace the water lines. Um, coming into the house because when the plumbers were here to fix the sewer line we were actually gonna do it all then but it was gonna be like ten thousand dollars and we didn't have it and we're like yeah that's gonna have to wait because the most we could borrow um, from anybody was um, just to get the the sewer line fixed because that was the more immediate problem. But yeah, they're like, yeah, your your water line's gonna need to be replaced because they're all cast iron. And I'm like, excuse me, who the fuck makes cast iron water pipes? I'd never heard of such a thing. Apparently, the house is that old. I mean, it was from some of it. Like the plumbers were so confused. <laughs> That was the truly sad part. Not like sad part because this is their job, but I was just like, wow, this house is so fucking old that they don't even know what the fuck's going on under there. Just like, oh my god. <laughs> That's pretty bad, you guys. Like, the plumbers were like, yeah, so there's like parts of sewer lines just going off and just ending. And they're just capped off and we don't we don't know what, what, what this is, so. One pipe they couldn't remove from under the house because it was too dangerous because there was a, um, some kind of venting pipe that was above it that was, like, 200 pounds, and it was just, like, a crawl space underneath the house. And they're like, yeah, I can't guarantee that, that that's secure if we move this and that's like 200 pounds and that's gonna come like crashing down through the roof and create a whole nother world of problem if we touch that so they're like so we're just gonna leave this thing there we're gonna cap it off and um you know we'll we'll decommission it the best we can but we can't actually remove it from under the house right now and i'm like okay right fun. Um, I think the- I've got two different build dates on this house. One is 1921 and one is 1926. And I'm just like, hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> like, well, that makes a little bit of sense. There is good news. The X-Pack is coming. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's some good news, but we were hoping for financial good news so that, you know, We didn't have such a tight budget because our budget is insanely tight right now. Like, we need to get the proper flea medication for the dogs that works. Um, Frontline doesn't work for us anymore. And uh, we managed to, to score one round for everybody, cats and the dogs, but that was not the proper medication, that was some over-the-counter shit, and that still sent us back, oh, I think, 40 or $50 that we didn't have, and um, it didn't do anything. I think it cleared up the outside cat a little bit, but all of the in-house animals, it didn't do dick. Um, and we only had enough for one month, so, 
Like, it's... We need to get them back on their next guard. And I don't remember what the fucking cats were getting. Was it Vectra? I, I don't remember. But it was over the counter. No, it wasn't over the counter. It was prescription from the vet. And the vet's like, well, we're not giving you the next guard until we see them again. And I'm like, are you fucking shitting me? So, because it's a prescription uh, flea medication. They want to see them. They want to see both of them. And I'm like, it was bullshit when they said it. They've gotten some new people coming in through the office because the one dog had been there. Um, it hadn't quite been a year yet. I think the following month would have been a year. So they were splitting hairs on it. And I'm like, the dog was just there like last July for neck surgery and then we had brought him in he had to have like a cancerous cyst removed from his neck and then the um and then the following month or two months later he was in there um to see if you guys could find anything wrong with his back even though you didn't really want to touch him and you were like no no he needs to have an MRI but like you wouldn't even do an x-ray to make sure that it wasn't something visible on an x-ray to do but you did come in and touch him and you're like, no, MRI. So you're full of shit because he was there. It just wasn't for a full-blown, um, like, annual checkup. But he was there and you guys are acting like you haven't put your hands on him. He had his rabies shot right before um, the next surgery. Like, no, this is dumb. I mean, I know he ended up at our second go-to vet for the actual medication for his back because they were willing to work with us without forcing the MRI thing because we didn't have money for, for an MRI and we weren't going to take him to a surgery center because, you know, if it was that terrible and he was going to be that messed up, we were just, we were going to make a tough decision if we had to because um, he was... He was in not great shape um, for a while. So, you know, and we didn't want him, we didn't want his quality of life to be that fucked up. So it would have sucked, but we would have had to make a decision. But they worked with us, the other vet, and we did pain medication, we did anti-inflammatories, we did muscle relaxers, and slowly he started to improve and he's not even on the pain medication anymore he's on none of it now and he's still not his old self and he probably never will be but he's happy he's he's eating he's getting spoiled rotten he's getting up he's going to the bathroom he he has interest in life so i'm like so we didn't have to make that decision. Uh, we both talked about it though, and, and we knew what we were gonna do if it came to it, but we didn't have to. Um, Cause he proved to us that no, I just need time. And um, you know, he, he's an old guy and I didn't wanna put him through a potential surgery that might not have done any help to him whatsoever, if he even needed it. Because we really think, um, like the, the, the second vet was like, well, it looks like he has a compressed disc, but he's had a slippy disc issue for a little while, so we don't know if it's the same disc that, that just got angry or what, but... They're like, well, I mean, and they were going to send us to fucking Oklahoma. And I'm like, what? They were going to send us to Oklahoma City to get, we're in Northwest Arkansas. So it would have been, it's a two hour drive to Tulsa, Oklahoma for us. I don't know, three to four hour drive to Oklahoma City, I guess, to um, a 
university vet teaching hospital, I guess maybe the cost would have been a little bit lower. Perhaps they didn't really tell us how much it would end up being if we did that. Like, I, I would imagine it would be reduced because it would have been at a teaching veterinary hospital. But they were going to send us there if we decided to do the MRI. And I'm like, <sighs> that was a whole thing. Because we would have had to have brought his brother with us because his brother was being his brother would not have been pleased at being away from him for that long like we might have had to have gotten a hotel room for the night because that would have been a lot to deal with four hours there, four hours back, and not counting the time that it would take to dick around there. And we would have had to bring the other one with us, because he would have been... Ha he has meltdowns when he goes... when the injured one goes to the vet without him. Like, he will just sit there at the door and howl. And I'm like, buddy, no amount of distracting works. None of it. So, I, I wouldn't put anybody through that for eight hours plus. Because that was bad. That was really bad. But no, we were just hoping for some financial stress relief, but that, that didn't happen. We were, we were hoping we were going to be able to have Christmas. And, uh, and get some, some necessities that we've been putting off because they're not necessity enough, shall we say. If that makes sense. It probably doesn't. But, um, you know, it's stuff that we kind of need, but we're going to keep putting it off until we have to have the thing so we've been trying to put some stuff that we kind of need but we know we don't have the money for on our Christmas list so our Christmas list that my mom's insisting on buying us um, has a lot of uh, utility stuff on it <laughs> um, so like some clothing items being replaced and we need a couple of kitchen gadgets replaced that broke to, to make life a little bit easier. So, um, like our one food processor died. Something in it snapped. It was ancient, so, I mean, it was good that it lasted for so long, but my dad has to have stuff processed down, some stuff processed down, so he can actually eat it. So it's like, yeah, it'd be nice if we could get this, because that would make life easier for specific things around the holidays that he likes to eat, but has to be small enough that he can eat it. And, um, because, I mean, both parents are here, we're trying to keep an eye on my dad, because he's not doing well. He's, he's doing well enough to be a pain in the ass about some things, but, but, um, we have another concern flaring with him now, so it's like, oh, for fuck's sake. So he had bladder cancer, um, oh gosh, when? Diagnosed with that a couple years ago. And, um. They ended up doing something because it was in the lining of his bladder and they ended up doing something and they said they got rid of it but they keep doing um, checkup tests on it every three months six months three months i think um just to make sure that it's not trying to come back 
and they saw something in one of his, um, they had him do a urine test, I think. Um, when was that? Last week? Within the last two weeks. He has so many doctor's appointments, some weeks. Um, and they said there was an abnormality. And they want him to do another one. They didn't say what the abnormality was. They're just like, mmm. Some don't look right. So I'm going to do another one. They're not sure if the test got contaminated or or what. So now we're kind of like, Ugh, what now? Did it come back? Did it move somewhere else? What's going on? So he was just in the hospital. What? In September? I don't even know what day it is anymore. I mean, I know it's Sunday, but passage of time doesn't mean anything anymore. Just numb. Because of everything happening. Where'd you go? Oh, I thought I had to do them. Oh. Okay, thank you. Oh, do I need to wrap up soon? Are you getting hungry? No, you're fine. You sure? Yeah. Alright, well, I'll finish this row out and then. We'll uh, move on from there because I gotta get this oil off my hands. My hands are starting to itch. What color did I just grab? I think I grabbed green. So hopefully tomorrow I can start a little bit sooner. Start times on the streams are 4 p.m. Central, U.S. Central time. Um, sometimes we start a little bit earlier. Sometimes I'm delayed by bullshit <laughs> or just life happening and um, and we'll start at 5 p.m. Um, if I'm going to be like more than an hour, I try to let you guys know. So do make sure you're following on the Twitter account. Um, that's at the CBGN because I do try to post when I'm actually going live or if I've had to cancel for some reason because it's a pain in the ass to quick cancel over here um, so I will just put up over there if I've had to cancel because of a migraine or life or something going wrong that day I don't usually cancel often but that way you know that I'm not just running late. Um, I will put a thing there. If you haven't seen anything about a cancellation, then I'm probably still planning. If I'm going to be longer than like an hour to two hours late, I will try to make sure that I'm like, hey, we're still doing this, but we had to move it back X amount of time. So, got that. Um, we have the YouTube channel where all of, well not all, but most of, we'll, we'll leave it at most of, the um, live streams are archived and the YouTube channel is same name as it is over here. So it's going to be Nisi BGN. If it says anything about Meet My Totem, that was the old channel name. It's it's still me. Um, apparently YouTube's coming out with handles soon that they're slowly rolling out so, um, so I can try to get the handle over there set to um, Nisi BGN just to make life easier that way there's no confusion whatsoever there should be a link somewhere down on the about page below us here somewhere um, or it might be in a panel I think it's in two different places um, for what the YouTube channel is and we, we've got various playlists from us playing the WoW challenges Iron Man Bloodthirsty Fast Fist um, We've got 
where I've taken a look at a couple of other games. Um, I think I took a look at Before We Leave. I only did one or two on that. It wasn't bad, but it started to get really micromanagey, and um, my brain kind of skipped out. They're like, and I was like, "Wow, this is this, this is a lot." Um, it it was more than I thought it was gonna be, so I wasn't really feeling it. Um, Cause then I had to keep an eye on like six different islands, and I was like, "Yeah, I don't know about this. Um, this might be a bit for me to deal with." And um, We've looked at Park Architects. I haven't done Planet Coaster on there yet, but Planet Coaster and Park Architect were kind of the same. So, um, not exactly. Similar. We'll go similar. So, um, we might look at Planet Coaster eventually, but I'm having more fun with Planet Zoo. That's on there. Um, right now we're looking at Coral Island. That's the game that we're playing at the moment on Thursdays. And that's been a lot of fun um, to uh, to check out and, and play. I would like to get an extra stream day in somewhere. Um, right now it's not possible. Um, we're doing art two days a week on Sunday and Monday. Um, we're not streaming on Tuesday or Wednesday officially. Um, Tuesday is the husband's D&D &D day and they play online. And Tuesday night um, he uses to catch up with our one friend when the friend's schedule allows. So, and, and Wednesday as well. Um, friends started back up with college. He's trying to get one of his degrees. I don't remember which one. Bachelor's? Or did he get the bachelor's? What degree is he going for now? Is it master's, bachelor's? What the fuck's he doing? Husband. Huh? What degree is he going for now? Who? Ty Ty. Uh, I think electrical engineering still. No, no, no. Like, what? what is it? Is it bachelor's, master's? I thought he got one of the degrees. Uh, I think bachelor's. Okay. He got one of them. He got them out of order or something of the way that people normally do them or some shit. I don't know. But, um... So he's a bit busy between going to school part-time and, um, and working. So some weeks they have guy hangout time and other weeks they don't because he's just too busy to. So um, there might be a, an odd Wednesday stream popping up here and there. Um, if A, I have the time to and I don't have other shit going on that I'm working on. Um, or B, they're not doing anything. I almost did one last week, but I was not feeling well and I had other shit I had to do, so. I think I was working on the screenshots, that's what it was. I was gonna do a, a surprise Coral Island stream last week, or this past Wednesday, but, uh, Wild Challenge is duty called, so, um, I had to do with that, so I wasn't able to have time to do an extra stream. Um... So Thursday's Coral Island, normally. Friday's Planet Zoo. And we don't stream on Saturday right now because Saturday I have in reserve for podcast things. Um, because I help out with the Wild Challenges podcast. Whether it's actually being on the show and co-hosting some weeks or I'm just doing um, behind the scenes prep work for the show or post work on the show <laughs> after afterwards um, making sure that all of the things and stuff are posted and and all of the the paperwork's in order shall we say for where it needs to go trying to get things prettified um, yeah so I'm, I'm busy <laughs> very busy I thought I would have more time to do stuff when we finished leveling our Bloodthirsty Challengers, but I still don't have time to do jack shit. Somehow. I, I don't know how that's working, but that seems to be the case. What can you do? That's just the way it goes over here, I guess. 
husband. <laughs> you mean Mr. Nisi? Yes, Mr. Nisi. Mr. Nisi, I don't know if he's gonna answer me when I call him Mr. Nisi, though. Uh, it depends on if I catch it. Yeah, he has headphones on, so, and he has his volume cranked up, trying to tune me out half the time, so he doesn't always hear me. So I'm like, hey, hey. And he's like, what? He goes, are you talking to me? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so. It just depends on if I catch him in a situationally aware moment or not. Um, he's been looking at the new RimWorld expansion. So, um, or not expansion. DLC, I guess, really. It's not really an expansion. DLC. Yeah, technically an expansion. Is it? Yeah. Like, I don't know if, I don't know what line has to be crossed to be the differential between DLC and expansion. Like, is, is there a Technically, they're the exact same fucking thing. Are they? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was something that designated something as a DLC versus an expansion. Like, did there have to be X amount of things for it to be considered an expansion, or... Uh, again, it, it's an entirely made-up differential. The only difference is, way back in the day, an expansion was sold as a disc, and a DLC is, is downloadable content. Okay. So... So technically, all of the WoW expansions lately would have been considered DLC. Or is that actual expansion? Like, this is where I'm questioning what constitutes this what. Like, I would think, like, file size would determine whether... What is what, basically. But... I don't know. So, yeah, I did pick up the Twilight Pack for Planet Zoo. Um, we haven't gotten anything to on the, the Wheel of Doom to, to build with it yet. Um, so, I don't know. I was toying with starting a franchise off stream to just record for um, just for the YouTube channel, but still keep our Wheel of Doom in on the franchise one. But I just, I'm like, yeah, okay, and when the fuck are you going to play that? So, and I'm like looking at, at my times and I'm like, you know, I don't think I have the time to do that right now. I just don't think I do. I would like to. Because, I mean, I think it would add an extra challenging layer if we bring in the Wheel of Doom 2 franchise, because then not only will we have to research shit, we'll have to make money. So until we start making money, we'll be a bit restricted into how fancy we can go. But I might save that for when we either get done with Streamland, which is the sandbox one we're doing right now, or my computer shits a brick on it. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens first. I mean, it's doing okay, but we don't have that much in there yet. We have got a lot of people that have to potty, apparently, and that are thirsty. Even though we've got three restaurants, I think their thirst meter is more looking for concessions. So I think that's why they're... They're just so cranky. They just want to drink to walk around with. They don't want to actually go sit down somewhere. And we do have concessions on the wheel. We just have yet to land on it. Which is kind of hilarious. We haven't landed on exhibit animals either. We've, we've landed on habitat three times. Um, we landed on restaurant three times. 
and we landed on zoo entrance. I mean, that was only going to be like a one, a one and done on the wheel because we don't need that many zoo entrances. Although, there are some zoos that have like a north gate entrance, a south gate entrance. The wheel of doom. The wheel of doom. So the wheel of doom. Let me see here. Let me, let me find the wheel of doom. Wheel of doom is what I call it. Um, so wheel of doom is a random picking wheel that I have added um, different. Uh, aspects to that we then spin to see what we're building. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Wheel. Okay, so this is the Wheel of Doom. Let's see if I can grab it. What is happening? There we go. So this is Wheel of Doom at the top of my browser, hidden. There we go. So Wheel of Doom, I've got different options on here for things that we can potentially build in in Planet Zoo. So um, restaurants, concessions, and shopping, I have been putting bathrooms in with. Um, because I feel like, well, if, you, if you're getting some kind of food, there would be some sort of bash bathroom right there. So I haven't put in, a, in any standalone bathrooms. I suppose we could, but I've just been kind of adding those in as part of the restaurant area, the, the concession area, the shopping area. Um, I've just been kind of like lumping them in with, with those, but we could add bathroom to there as a separate entity. Uh, we may need to, um, just because of how pissy everybody is about needing to potty. No pun intended. Um, so, this is, this is our wheel. I just added Education Station because they do have a couple of education interactive points now that they've added, and I haven't put any of those in yet, and, um, we really should. And like I said, I haven't added transportation to the wheel yet, so we don't have like a safari ride or, or a gondola ride, but I do want to add that into the wheel probably after one more animal habitat. So, um, I probably should add bathroom while we're here so I don't forget because, you know, my brain. B-A-T-H. Okay. So we'll add that to the wheel. All right, I think one of those is fine. Um, so then, you know, uh, when we finish building something, we spin the wheel on the stream. And then we'll whatever it lands on, that's what we're building. However, oh, oh, and it went with bathroom. So, um, we had originally set this up for, um, for both of us when we were doing our back and forth zoo. Um, but he's kind of lost interest in Planet Zoo for the time being, so we had to kind of put a pin in the, um, <laughs> no, it might hit it, but, um, oh, that's my Twitter. You guys don't need to see that, my Twitter, um, or my tweet deck. I mean, not that it was anything all that scandalous, it was just... I, I monitor the WoW Challenges um, social media stuff, so I'm one of the caretakers of it. So if you DM, I'm probably going to be the main person answering you. Um, we try to tag on the DMs who's answering who, like who you're talking to, because there's two of us taking care of the social media stuff. It's either going to be me or Lita. But, um, but yeah, so that's the Wheel of Doom. But we had to temporarily put a pin in the duo zoo because husband just wasn't feeling it. Um, 
he kind of lost interest in Zoo for a while. It might come back eventually, but he just hasn't been in the mood for a passive game. He played the shit out of Seven Days to Die for a couple of months. Um, but now, uh, with the new DLC for, for Worm World, he's been invested in that the past couple of days. Um, and checking out all of the new stuff and being frustrated over the fact that the little the little pawn people um, can procreate now and uh, they are procreating like rabbits and sticking children in all sorts of places they're digital children in all sorts of places which is just so confusing freezing digital children that wasn't what I was objecting to what what were you objecting to? Horrifying implications, dear. Well, that's Shoving why I went. <laughs> that's why I went back and said the digital kids. Like, there was a point where it got too hot, and he didn't know it was too hot, and he's like, "Why did the pawn put put their digital child in the freezer? Like, what? Or their walk-in refrigerator or something?" He goes, "This makes no sense." And then he finally did some digging and found out, oh, well, the temperature's too hot outside, so they, they, they put the digital child somewhere where the temperature was cooler. And he's like, okay, that kind of makes sense. And then another point, the pawn kept putting the digital child on a shelf, and he's like, why are they putting it on a shelf? He's like, what the fuck? I don't know if you ever figured out that one. Uh, I think it was the same issue. They were too hot, so they were putting them on a shelf? Because the shelf was in a stable temperature area. Oh, okay. So it, it was, it was kind of, kind of um, all over the place. So he's been like, oh my goodness, what is this? Mr. Nisi is not always in chat. He's in the same room with me though, so. Yeah, I'm usually, I'm usually listening in, but I have to remember to turn on the stream. Yeah. If I don't remember to actively turn on the stream, then I'll just hear her talking about me and sometimes that reminds me. Yeah, so. Sometimes he, he remembers to pop in, or if if there's a modding issue and none of the other mods are around, then um, he'll pop in and try to deal with it. Um, but, uh, so, so what were you guys talking about? What X-Pack? Um, I wasn't sure if they meant so Planet Zoo X-Pack. Yeah, were we talking WoW X-Pack or were we talking Planet Zoo X-Pack? Um, or were we talking Seven Days to Die? I don't think Seven Days to Die had no, an update. Have okay. It would have to launch before we have X Packs in theory. Oh, oh, oh! It's one of those. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, an it's one of those problem. eternal, eternal early access. Yeah, they've changed the <laughs> skill system like four times so far, and they're about to do a fifth. <laughs> Never to go live again. Um, but uh, or officially be released. But um. Yeah, no, so we, we had the duo zoo, um, Salt Marsh. Uh, I kind of left that one alone in case he decides to, um, to get the itch to play again, because he was in the middle of Alpha 20, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Impressive, but still, wow. Um, but no, I left, I left the duo zoo be in case he decides to play, wow, um, wow, Jesus Christ. In case he decides to play um, Planet Zoo again, because he was in the middle of building an exhibit area, and I didn't feel right finishing it on him, since that was something that he started, and he had in his brain his own kind of concept for what he was looking for. Um, and I just didn't want to skip over the fact that he hadn't played, and I didn't want to hijack the whole thing. So, um, the fact that I told her to hijack the whole thing? So I just decided, you know, let's let's just do a separate solo sandbox. So that's where Streamland Park came from. Um, I still have Mozuzumo, which was an older franchise one that we did, but that one was without the Wheel of Doom. And as we were going, I was kind of just losing the um, the interest in playing that one because I didn't have a direction so the Wheel of Doom actually gives me um, a goal to shoot for and gives me an idea of, of what to do because I also have a page that has um, an animal generator on it so if we hit um, if we hit actually where is
Hmm. Where? I might have lost the generator on the... On the thingy. That's stream elements. What was this supposed to be? That was screenshots. That was... Might be right back. That says primary monitor. That says image. Maybe I was splitting between the two. The wheel might have been for both pages. Um, now I've fallen down another rabbit hole. Let's see. Let's see if this will... Okay, I was using the same web page for both. Uh, or the same source for both. So, um, I have a, a web page that is an animal generator. I don't know if the new stuff is in there from the Twilight pack yet. Um, but you can, I don't think there's a separate button for it, but I think you can, I think it, well, it's broken down to, to classifications, so, or biomes. But, I mean, you can hit, um, habitat animal and... That's how we've ended up with the king penguin, the otter, and the giraffe. And I just threw in the zebras with the giraffe because I was like, what the hell? And then, you know, you can, you've can you got the exhibit animals. So this is where we've been getting the animals from for the Planet Zoo stream. We've just been letting the generator do it for us. And then we have had to figure it the fuck out. So um, I've been... I've been enjoying that uh, randomness to just kind of keep us motivated and what have you. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to call it here today. I've got to get this oil washed off my hands because they're starting to burn and they're itchy. So um, I need to go wash them really, really good and try to de de wax part of my desk still that still has the wax on it from the wax melt incident. Um, but no, we'll be back tomorrow on this. Um, I haven't put the icing in yet up here. I think I might wait till we're done putting in all of the color and then come back with the icing just so I don't have another color in the mix on the desk. But um, we're not doing too bad. We've got three full full rows in for the most part. Um, I'm going to try to make these a little bit bigger because this side was bigger and this side I feel like I'm going super tiny. But um, I'll try to work on making these, these bigger on this side. Um, so yeah, we'll be back to working on this tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to finish this panel tomorrow. I would like to, though. We'll see what time I can get started and how late we end up going. It really depends on if the two of us are eating the same thing tomorrow. We're eating together today, so that's why we're stopping now, and I'm starving. Um, so, yeah. that That's going to be it for today. Hey, Dave. How's it going, Dave? I haven't checked in on... Uh, on Twitter. What the fuck are noppers? Contact? Some kind of food. They look like the little... They look like the cream wafers, but not. What are these? Are they just like, are they like the, like the Keebler elf cream wafers? You can't go till you tell me what these are. It kind of looks like a chocolate wafer, some kind of cream that kind of reminds me of like an Oreo cookie. And then some kind of like crunchy layer that kind of reminds me of like a um, a crackle. And then there's some kind of what is that like a shortbread bottom? Or is that just another wafer layer that doesn't have chocolate on it? Maybe it's some kind of hazelnut spread, not not like a crackle. Because I see something that looks like nuts in the picture. I need to know. I am fascinated. 
But I want you to tell me. I mean, I could just go find a description somewhere. But if you're gonna put this on the account that I have to manage, then I want to know what the fuck it is. <laughs> you're making me hungry. What is this? Inquiring minds need to know. Are you not going to answer me? Don't die. Don't die. Make sure your challenger's safe. That's the important part. Then answer me. I really want to know. Like, what these taste like. Or what the heck's in them. I've never seen these before. Like, they don't have them in our grocery store. They kind of look like something that you would find in... In either, like, the Little Debbie section? They're not Little Debbie, but they look like something that you would find over there. Or in, like, the World Snacky part of the aisles. Like, you know, where the Tim Tams used to be before Walmart stopped selling them? Like where the pokey sticks and stuff are? Pocky, pokey, whatever, however you're supposed to pronounce it, I don't know. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Dave's not gonna answer me. I'm sad. I'm sad, Dave. Dave's gonna make me go look it up now. How the hell do you pronounce this? Or spell this. K-N-O-P-P-E-R-S. Okay. So. Oh, you, they have them at your, at a Walmart. I just, I've never seen them at our Walmart. Although the Walmart that we go food shopping in is one of the neighborhood markets and they have a much smaller our, our neighborhood market of choice is much smaller. So what the hell is this? Oh, they have their own website. Okay. Uh, no, we're not doing cookies. I'm just here to see what the fuck this is. Welcome to the world of knoppers. I hope I'm saying this right. Crispy milk hazelnut wafer. And oh, they've got different flavors. Okay. Um, okay, so it is like the wafer thingies, but they're flavored, and they're more elaborate than than the the basic shitty cheap wafers. And I say that because we can get like a huge ass bag for like under two dollars at the one grocery store that we sometimes go to. Is that? Oh, select a country. Oh, 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 okay, so I guess it's different flavors. Uh, huh? I can't select a country. My country's not here. Oh, all other countries. There we go. <laughs> Read the thing. What the hell? This this isn't really explaining anything. Okay, so this is a German thing. I should have known that when you said that it was a favorite of your wife's. Do they contain alcohol? But no, tell me what's in them. I want to brands. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. You got them at Aldi's. But, so, it's like, so, it, it's like a jacked up wafer, because, okay, so the company that owns Knoppers also owns Risen and Werther's Original. 
Mamba. I don't know if that's a Spanish candy company or a Spanish Spanish snack company. Or if that's like a, a Philippine company. I'm not sure. Um, Bendix? I don't know what the heck that is. B-E-N-D-I-C-K? It looks ritzy, whatever it is, because the photo is some lady sitting in a fancy table with a big-ass glass of wine, whatever the hell that's at. Um, Nim 2, I've never heard of that. Merci, I've heard of. That's, like, kind of similar to to the Rocher um, stuff. But... Okay, so they make you jump through hoops to get to what the fuck... Where the fuck the shit is. Okay, so... It looks like it's a... Okay, so this would be kind of like, like, like just a little snacky. Um, oh, they have minis. Those look like they would be in like the fucking candy aisle, to be perfectly honest with that bag. But what the fuck is in it? It, it won't show me a big enough thing of the box. Fuck this, we're going to Walmart. And we're gonna see if we can get the picture blown up on it, or I can go to Amazon. I can probably find them over there. Because this is becoming... This is becoming a thing now. What are you? Can I see the back side of the box? Is there an actual description? Here we go. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Nim 2 are cough drops. <laughs> Is it just that they taste like it? I've never seen Nim do. Um, so Knoppers are crispy and tasty wafer candy that brings layers of flavor into every bite, made up of five delicious layers of crispy baked wafer, milk cream, so I guess kind of like a, or milk creme, I guess it's kind of, kind of like, um, you know, I've gotten them at the gas station more than I've gotten them at the um, uh, the grocery store where you get like the little packs of like the Keebler, you know, sometimes you'll have like the strawberry cream filling. It's kind of like a Oreo cookie filling, kind of, like that, that kind of cream. Hazelnut filling and crunchy roasted hazelnut pieces topped with a touch of cocoa. The classic Knopper wafer candy. One six pack piece of Knopper wafer bars. Okay, so so they're definitely more decadent than than your basic cheap dollar pack of of just the cream and the flaky wafer. So hazelnut cream. Okay, okay. What's Proposition 65 for California? What is this? Hang on. We, we've fallen down another rabbit hole. I, I'm like in the in the product description on this and at, at, at the bottom it's like Proposition 65. Um, Proposition 65 requires businesses to provide warnings to Californians about significant exposure to chemicals that cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm. The chemicals can be in products that Californians purchase in their homes or workplace or that are released into the environment. Okay, so it said, it said Proposition 65, it said none. So, okay. I was like, what, what is, what is this? Because, <laughs> is this something we need to worry about? But it said there was none. So, it's just, I guess, Walmart covering their ass for, for legal purposes for those that are on their website from the state of California. Well... Send me a link and I'll have a look. Well, I just looked up what Proposition 65 was. Yeah, I know. I just want to double check what it is that they're calling it on. No, no, no. It was listed on the, the this the snack cakes um, it, it, under the description, but it said that there was none. So there was no warning that had to be issued. They were clean. They were good. I know that's a big-ass link. That's how it came out but um, like down towards the bottom 
of above ingredients. So so they're cool. So I think that rule came oh, about. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that rule came about like with the Roundup, um, with the Roundup lawsuit, um, the the weed killer, the weed spray, because people didn't know that there was harmful chemicals in it to themselves. So. Yeah, I'm just not why it applies to food. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That might just be generically on there for the Walmart website now. If it's the first time I've seen it on there, but I'm not on the Walmart website all that often. At least in the grocery section. But, yeah. So, they're actually a pretty healthy snack in moderation. Well, I, I can see that. So there's not a whole lot to them. Alright, well, now that the mystery of the Noppers has been solved, and I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if that K is silent or not. Some Ks are silent. Like, here they're silent, but sometimes I think for German... It might be a hard sounding K. Like it might be like knoppers or is it knoppers? Because there's always that great debate as to whether or not that amusement park in Pennsylvania is nobles or knobles. Not silent. So I am supposed to be saying the K. Okay, so yeah, like like some like German names you pronounce the K. I think that silent K is in a, a an English thing. Okay, so so knoppers or knop. Okay. All right. Cool. So we're learning things today, you guys. All right. So on that note, we're gonna knop ourselves out of here, and um, <laughs> we're gonna go make dinner. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I can start a little bit earlier. We'll see what time I wake up, and if any meltdowns or any problems have happened that I need to take care of before I can start stream. Um, but. We should, at the very least, be starting on time, if not early tomorrow. Don't quote me on the early. It's what I would like to do. Um, let's see. Do we have any friends that are streaming right now? Um, not on this one list. Not really. So, that's fine. So, we'll just cut it here. Um, so yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Be careful, everybody. Have a good night. Um, have a good start to your week if you work, um, tomorrow. And, uh, I'll see you later.